following along the January barometer studies, I have to say, <laughs> on balance, you better uh, you better pay attention. 2023 might be what a hell of an up year, <laughs> which is a bit ironic because that's you know if you turn on the media, you turn on TV, everything you listen to Brian. And everybody's like, ah, it's the end of the world. Then probably the only guy who actually has it tapped correctly is uh, Larry Williams. And he's in his 80s now. And he's like, I don't day trade anymore. I'm too old for that crap. <laughs> but anyway, he's been talking about how the inflation cycle seems to be peaking. And don't be surprised if the stock market enjoys a substantial rally. You got to say, you know, we started January over here and now we're up here. So January barometer as January goes, so goes the year. It's probably worth noting. A little bit of softness, if anything, maybe some people, you know, Fed watchers are kind of, I think I've warned you repeatedly, you do not want to see uh, the stock market and all these risk assets all rallying crazy like into the Fed. That's not a good sign. Is one day pullback enough to relieve that sort of one line direction straight up kind of conversation? I don't know. And I suppose how ironic if we actually go and M out here and start to correct in earnest, how deep do we actually go here? I don't know. It's a tough one. Probably going to be something along these lines. Noticed. Uh, when we did do uh, the study off the lows uh, and that M and bang right into 50% rules and in comes a W, which is actually totally cliche. So if that's the case, then you can see 50% uh, retracements would be nothing more than just a revisit of this traffic area, 3950 area, maybe we'll call it on the S&Ps. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, too, off the higher time frames, this is a lower time frame chart, but off the higher time frames, we have some interesting candle bodies areas down in here to uh, candle body lows to uh, hunt for for direction. So we'll see how we go through this Fed uh, event window. Uh, and as I said, you probably, if you're sitting there on the sidelines and you're a cheerleader, you probably would be cheering for weaker prices here over the next day or two, which would maybe set up that sort of healthy back and forth, but with an upside tone to the to the market. And we don't really wanna see the market rally. So anyway, we'll see everybody tomorrow morning, uh, see how oh, uh, they set it up into the Fed meeting. Uh, if they are pushing it back up top, then that's gotta be a major warning sign for us. Also, too, uh, in the after show, uh, and I think uh, Eddie had mentioned, I think it's not a bad idea. We should probably be thinking about things like uh, what, what's it cost to go and buy a put option on these major stock indexes? You see all the gaps here. I mean, this is NASDAQ. Usually, if uh, energy prices take off, because uh, I'm actually hearing people talking about natural gas starting to turn around. I don't know whether it has or not. Maybe it's flushed out now and it's getting ready to rally, tough to say. No real buy signal there. But, uh, you know, maybe it might be an idea for us. Um, and I don't know whether NASDAQ's the best place to go. Like I said, in the after party, maybe we'll go look at the options. But you could very easily see a nice little pullback against these lows of against that W. There might actually be some money to be made on the puts uh, going forward here. So I might even have... Uh, a put idea or two, maybe even a spread on things like uh, SPY uh, to keep the cost down. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a relatively low little uh, volatility environment right there. The put options might be relatively cheap. And of course, if Mr. Barry's, uh, what, is this a repeat of 2001 kind of idea? And this is a head fake breakout and we actually have to go 30% lower then, you know, what's 30% of 400? That would be uh, 120 points. So that would actually take us down into that 280 area. Wow. Anybody ready for that? And actually, I like that. I, I would prefer, and I think I said yesterday, I would prefer for this to happen because then we can finally fill in all these gaps. Actually, you can see on this particular chart, there's a huge hole in the chart. Right there, there's a huge hole on the chart there. There's a huge hole on the 
these will have to be filled in at some point down the road. I don't know. Does that happen maybe next fall? They usually say fall is when the stock market really falls apart, or, or, or no pun intended. But if Mr. Barry's uh, thinking is correct and it's a repeat of, uh, of a 2001 kind of idea, then 30% uh, correction from these levels is actually completely realistic. So let's keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you.